Hello, my name is Ardi and let's solve problem practice problem 11.1 from Sadiku book. So the question is calculate the instantaneous power and average power absorbed by the passive linear network of figure 11.1. And we are given that this is Vt and then this is It. However, we have a problem here that this is not the same function here so this is cosine and this is sine okay i think we need to convert one of them into cosine which is this it so let's convert that into one how i will use a trigonometric identities where sine x is equal to cosine 90 degrees minus x we learn all of this in high school, right? So we need to rewrite it here. So we will have it is equal to 33. So I will put cosine here. And then we will have 90 degrees and then minus this one here because sine x is cos 90 degrees minus the x. Let let's assume all of this as the x right so we will have 10 t and then plus 60 degrees okay i think that is all good so now let's simplify things we will have 33 cosine okay 90 degrees minus 60 degrees so i will have 30 degrees right so we'll have 30 degrees and then minus 20. Good. Now I want to take out the negative sign. So we'll have 33 cosine minus. Okay, we'll put this 20 first because the sign is positive. And then this becomes minus, right? So we'll have minus 30 degree. Okay, that is good, but I want to get rid of this negative sign using another trigonometric identities, which is cos x is equal to cos negative x. So this is the same. I can just get rid of this sign here. So let's rewrite that. 33 cosine 10 t minus 30 degrees okay so this is i t let's put that into the problem because this is equivalent so we have 33 cosine 10 t minus 30 degrees ampere and now let's erase this because we already have uh, the information that we need Okay, we are asked about instantaneous power first, so we will have to use this formula here. Oh, so, Pt is equal to Pt multiplied by It. We can use the same function here, so we have to multiply cost with cost, so we can use this trigonometric identities here, multiplication of sine. Okay, so let's plug that in. Vt is 330. And then cosine, we will have 10t. And then plus 20 degrees. Good. Then multiplied by this one here, we will have 33. Cosine. We will have 10t. Minus. 30 degrees okay i think all good from here now let's multiply the constant we will have 330 and 33 i think we can use calculator for that so we'll have 330 multiplied by 33 10,890 okay 10,890 and then let's rewrite the cos. So we'll have cos and t 
plus 20 degrees and then cosine 20 minus 30 degrees good now we can use the trigonometric identities here because this is cosine multiplied by cosine and this is also cosine multiplied by cosine so this is the a and this is the b right and first we need to calculate a minus b a minus b 20 will cancel each other right and then 20 minus minus 30 that will be 50 yeah okay let's rewrite that so we'll have 1890 multiplied by i have one half there and then cosine a minus b like i said before 20 minus minus 30 that will be 50 degrees 50 degrees and then we'll have plus cosine a plus b what is a plus b 10 plus 10 which is 20 we have 20 t and then 20 minus 30 that will be minus 10 degrees okay it's like this and then this should be 55 54 i mean 54 45 cosine 50 degrees and then plus another so we can just distribute this right so we'll have 5545 cosine 20t minus 10 degrees good now let's put this into calculator so we will have 5445 cosine 50 degrees we already have it in degrees right be careful don't set it into radian and so i will have i think 300 3500 is good for this one but Yes, three four nine nine point ninety seven ninety seven or ninety eight ninety eight. Yeah, but you can round it up, and then we will have five four four five cosine 20 t minus 10 degrees okay i think there is nothing that we can do we can just need to put the unit which is volt multiplied by ampere volt multiplied by ampere is just what okay so we will have this is the instant minus power okay and uh, are we done no, I think we still need to find out the average power, which is using the second formula. But our whiteboard is full. Let's clean up the board. Okay, now let's move on to the second question, which is average power. And we can use this formula here. We need to use this one because we are in time domain here, cosine and sine and not fasor domain. So we need to use this part of the formula here. Okay, let's rewrite the formula there. The average power is one half multiplied by Vm and then Im and then multiplied by cosine theta V and then minus theta I. Good now let's see what we have from here this is the vm right the maximum voltage which is the amplitude of this function here 
so this is our tm and then theta v is the phase of the voltage function so this is theta v okay that is a good part so from the current we also have this 33 here 33 as our tm but we need to be careful about the phase here because we have the cosine function on Vt. We need to use the cosine function for the current. So this is our theta i. Okay, now what we need to do is just to plug in the values into the formula. Okay, let's do that. One half multiplied by Vm. Vm is 330. And then I am, I am is this one. Oh, that is not VM. This is I am. Okay, we will have 33. And then cosine. Theta V, which is 20 degrees. And then minus theta I, which is minus 30 degrees. Okay, we can just plug them into calculator, right? Because it is difficult to calculate. Let's do exactly that. One half is 0 0.5, and then 330, and then 33, and then cosine. We have to be careful that the unit needs to be in degrees. Don't set it into radian. And then 20 degrees, minus minus, that becomes plus, so we'll have 30. Okay, we will have 3499, 3499.98. Here the unit is what, right? Because this is voltage and this is ampere, what? Is it the same as the answer? Yes, because the answer in is in kilowatt. You can just convert it. Okay, I think that's all. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.